Alright guys, welcome to this tutorial where I'm just going to show you the eight shortcuts that I often use when editing wedding films. So these are the eight shortcuts that I use while editing wedding films in Premiere Pro. So let's go. So what's the first shortcut that I use often? So the, short, the first shortcut that I use often is just the command S. So just keep in mind all these shortcuts are on a Mac. If you have Windows, I'm sorry, I don't use Windows to edit. I use um, a Mac. So all these shortcuts are on a Mac, Macintosh. So what I use um, the most is just to save my projects. Because as you know, um, Premiere Pro is not like Final Cut where it saves as it goes for you. You don't have to do any saving. So for this one, for for the um, Premiere Pro, you usually have to like save. Um, after you do a few edits, you have to save the project, you know. And I often do that because sometimes, you don't know, it might just crash and you have to like probably go back to the last saved, auto saved from uh, Premiere Pro and it might not save where you left off. So I usually use this um, shortcut, which is Command S. So there you go, Command S. So Command S, as you can see, just saves the project real quick. So that's the first shortcut. I use this a lot while I'm editing wedding films. Okay, guys. And um, the other shortcut that I use um, the most too is um, the JKL, which is um, JKL. So just JKL. So um, J is to, you know, move backwards, as you can see. And you can also, like, fast forward, okay? You can like fast, um, actually you can um, rewind. You can go faster backwards. The thing is lagging right now. I'll let, let you move backwards. So there you go, J. See it's going backwards. Let me just uh, make sure it goes a little faster here. Ooh, I'll put it on here. Forgive me guys, I got a lot of stuff open in the background. So yeah, so there you go, J. Moves backwards. And then K just stops it. You can press space or you can press K, same thing, it just stops it. And uh, K doesn't play it, it just stops it. And then L moves forward with the edit. So as you can see, we're moving forward here. And then you can press it again to move quicker. Press it again, you move quicker, press it again, like it's just gonna go, you know, move fast. So J, K, L, so J to rewind and go back faster. Rewind faster and then K to stop it. But I usually don't use K, but it's just there for you guys to know. I usually use space all the time. And then L just goes fast, goes forward. And you can like just zoom through your timeline. Okay, so that's shortcut number two. So number three is um, up and down key, it's the arrows. So the arrow up goes backwards and then down goes, moves forward with the cuts. It goes into the cuts. Okay, so you can do this to just like, you know, move up and down in cuts if you don't wanna like, you know, manually do it. Like, okay, I'm gonna wanna do that. But sometimes you, you can't get it, so you have to use the up and down arrows. And I do this a lot to go through the, the timeline. Okay, guys, so that's number three. And um, <clears throat> so number four is um, I do the um, command plus. So command plus, what it does is it enlarges the video only. See that? So minus goes, um, minimizes it. And the plus, command plus makes you, makes it, you know, enlarges the the video part of it. So you don't have to like, you know, deal with these right here okay guys you don't have to use the the scroll the scroll things in the sides here you can just do command uh, minus or plus and then option alt option minus mix minimizes the audio and the plus sign maximizes the enlarges or maximizes the audio files audio clips so you can do this if you want to like um, you know move fast 
to enlarge it instead of using this and also as you can see it does the it 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 um enlarge it does the whole video part of it so when you uh, for example if i do this see it's just all the audio is minimizing plus all the audio is maximizing see that same thing with the video command minus it uh, minimizes all the video command plus maximizes um, all the video okay guys so number six i use this a lot when i want to see the entire timeline okay so when i want to see the entire timeline i just use the backslash um backslash key so which is this key right here so let's say i was zoomed in right here and i wanted to like um let's say i'm trying to you know i'm zoomed in right here okay i'm editing this part and i want to see the entire timeline so instead of like you know doing this i can you just press the box the backslash key so the backslash key brings you to see the whole timeline and then when you press it again you go back to your edit to the part where you are editing where this thing where this thing is at right here so anyway it's at it's gonna you know go right back to that spot and make it you know front and center so let's say it was right here make it front and center right there okay so that's the backslash key I use it a lot because I like seeing the full timeline but then again there's another thing that I do with this which is number seven so number seven is um number seven I press um, shift minus so shift minus what shift minus does is it shows you all the clips okay it shows you all the clips in the time in the entire timeline see how you see all these um, all these clips that, that will be up there for example let's say these um, these clips were like let's bring them up here these clips were right up there okay these clips were right up there so so shift plus goes back to where you were editing okay now let's press the the backslash to kind of like see the entire timeline there we go so let's say I was zoomed up so let's say I was here right and right here I can't see these keys up there I have to like scroll to see those but that doesn't work a lot with me what I do if I want to see the whole thing without doing that if I want to see all the files on the timeline you just press shift then minus and it just shows you the entire timeline see you see even the key the clips that are up here and then when you press it when you press the plus the shift plus it just shows you right where you're editing it zooms in and then when you press the shift minus it shows you all the clips okay so this is very useful to me when I'm editing weddings so that's why I'm uh, letting you guys know about this I use it a lot so shift minus just shows you all the clips on the timeline and then shift plus you know just shows you that part but the thing again with like the shift minus thing is like let's say let's say you're like uh, zoomed in right let's say you're right here <clears throat> so when you press shift minus it just shows you all the clips on the area that you're editing so it's not going to show the entire timeline you're going to have to uh, to press the backslash key which will show you all the uh, the whole entire timeline I'm sorry my voice is kind of hoarse right now I was out last night partying every day and I'm just playing but I was out last night you know uh, late nights late nights late nights shift minus lets you see all the clips shift plus brings you up close okay so this is very useful like once you do this like a lot like few times you're gonna start knowing these um, keys uh, these shortcuts real quick um, number eight I use it a lot but you know it's not it's not like nothing big I'm sure you guys also know this but yeah so what I do let's say uh, let's bring the shift minus here shift minus see the whole thing so let's say I wanna like um okay so this here's another trick too if you like wanna cut all the files at the same time 
you just um, select the, the blade the blade tool and then you um, click shift and shift brings up the double razor see how the razor is double now so it's gonna cut through all the clips at the same time this is very useful when you're doing like I use this a lot when I'm doing music videos not for weddings only when I'm doing music videos so that's when I use this a lot because that's just how I edit music videos but this is not about music videos this is about weddings so I did that to show you this other thing that I do which you guys do a lot too which is um okay another thing let me um, go back here another thing is like let's say you don't want to cut the audio part of um, this edit what you can do is just like you know just lock the the, the clips you don't want to cut you lock them up okay like Akon locked up you know you're not gonna lay them out anyway so so yeah so that's what you do and then you press the the, the razor here make it double there with the shift button and then you cut so it's cut it's just gonna cut the ones that are unlocked like what it did here and you leave the audio there that's what I do a lot anyway so what I wanted to show you back to the edit let me just unlock these what I wanted to show you is what I use a lot I use it a lot a lot okay so the A the A key so the A key just lets you select all the files that are on this side of um, of the arrows so in this case I'm just gonna cut just to show you so let's do the shift here cut all these up okay so what the A key does is you know it just lets you move all the keys that are on the side of the arrow so if I go here it's gonna select everything on this side so there you go I do this a lot when I'm moving you know patching up clips moving them up okay that's what I do a lot I use this a lot so guys that's it for today hopefully you guys learned something from this video and I'll see you guys in the next one thank you for watching make sure you subscribe to the channel let's grow the channel guys we're on 2,000 subscribers right now let's get to 10k okay guys make sure you kick the make sure you kick really make sure you click the like button if you like this video thank you guys see you in the next one